One of the big questions that soybean farmers are asking, and you may be one of them, is what's going on with this Roundup Ready soybean patent expiration? Does that mean I can bin run my beans next year or, or what's going on? Okay, so with Roundup One beans, they did come out many years ago, and the patent does expire in 2014. The problem is it doesn't expire until August. So in terms of planting, you're not gonna be able to plant Roundup One beans until the following year if, you want to, if you're trying to save your own seed. But here's what it really comes back to. Yes, the Roundup One trait is going off patent, but every variety out there is patented right now. So in other words, if you want to plant somebody's variety, you say, well, I'm, I'm gonna pl go plant this variety in 2014, Roundup Ones, I'm gonna save them for seed in 2015 so I just get the seed cleaned up, then I'll go plant those. Well, you may run into some problems because the variety is patent. Well, the, I guess this is how complicated it gets to be. You know, there are multiple patents on many things that you have. Uh, like, for example, the pickup truck that you may drive. Uh, you may have, I don't know how many patents could be in that thing. There could be 20, 30, 40 patents on different things in that equipment. And it's the same thing with your hybrid or your variety, in this case, that you're planting on your farm. There are multiple patents that could protect it. And you may say, well, what's the reason why? Okay, Monsanto has the patent on the Roundup Ready gene that went into your bean. But the breeder of that soybean also has patents protecting them. And the reason why is, let's just say, for example, you have a Pioneer soybean and Pioneer did the breeding on it. Well, they wanna protect it because they don't want an Asgro or a Mycogen or an NK or whoever uh, to take that variety and breed off it with something they've got to try and make an even better variety. So the breeders have to have some protection in place uh, so when they're putting these varieties out that they aren't just gonna get crossed with everything else and all of a sudden they're at a disadvantage again. So when you're choosing soybeans that you're going to plant in the 2015 season, you'll have to talk to the seed company that you're buying from and ask them, is it okay if I save these for next year or are you gonna come after me on some breeder patent that's on that variety? So to this point, Monsanto has said they're going to let you take their varieties and go ahead and plant them in 2015, but that could change. So again, we really want you paying attention to this. It's a big deal if you're gonna violate some patent thing and obviously you don't wanna get yourself into any trouble. The other side of this is how much yield are you actually gonna give up? Because the way I look at it, if I've got to plant a Roundup 1 now and go backwards in technology versus Roundup 2, the Roundup 2s on average on our farm are yielding four to five bushels more at least. Okay, so if I've even, let's figure on the low side, let's say it's four bushels times $12 beans, well, there's $48 right there. Okay, so am I really gonna save $48 by cleaning my own seed up? Probably not. And then besides that, we've got to look at, well, how old is that Roundup 1 variety that I'm planting this year? I'm gonna save it for seed in 2015. Chances are the new Roundup 2 varieties that are gonna come out for 2015, they might be six or seven bushels better. I just know that the only reason why new varieties keep coming out is they beat the old varieties. And I don't wanna go backwards in terms of yield. Well, once again, the Roundup Ready 1 technology, that patent is expiring in the United States in August of 2014. So in 2015, you could plant Roundup Ready 1 soybeans that you have cleaned yourself, you've saved them for seed, and you won't get in trouble on the patent for the trait. You just have to be careful about the patent for the variety. Talk to your seed company and find out if you actually can save that for seed and plant it the next year. When soybeans are worth 10 or $12 a bushel, I just don't see that it's gonna make economic sense to save my own seed, but it is certainly an option if you wanna do it. Well, one good thing about that Roundup Ready technology, Brian, is you can control weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this one coming up next. <music>